Hello, hello, hello. I am here for the first time with some uh, Magic the Gathering Arena draft nonsense. And I'm going to do one of these quick drafts because I'm a baby with only 2,000 gems and I don't want to lose 1,500 gems if I mess up. Right now I'm a uh, mythic number 408 and uh, we're going to see what we can get done here got the the untapped overlay okay well i'm probably starting with an ozolith that sounds like a lot of fun i am not super fond of playing blue black even though i know it's so good uh other options here i mean that tangled skyline's good but not taking it and i don't think it's right to take it lancer is okay agatha is okay but Really, nothing is in contention here. Easy, Ozolith. Alright, we got a Knight Aaron of Eos, and I'll probably end up taking that, just because I am super fond of it. And we can kind of look to slot into a nice, aggressive deck of some kind. Great Sword's okay. Protocol Knight and Jackal Inter Intervention is probably the next best card after Knight Aaron. Wild Ward Escort's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't even notice the Rouse reinforcements there. That's definitely, definitely up there. But yeah, Knight Aaron of Eos. Let's take the rares. Okay, okay, okay. So. Obviously, there's a Deadly Derision here. There's a Marshall. There's a Blossoming Sands. Oh, there's so many blue and black cards still in this pack. I mean Rona, but that's not really a signal. Not that I know really how the bots draft, but oh, it might be, it might have to be a uh, Marshall Zelfier here. I could just take the Kithkin Billy Rider, but I think this is way better, and this is very replaceable. Though it does go well with Ozolith, doesn't it? Hmm, that's kind of tempting. Just go down that road directly. Ah, what the heck. Live a little right. Build around the... Shh, the Ozolith. Um, I mean, Sandstalker Moloch's quite good. Inspired Charge is quite mediocre. Tildehair is good. Invasion of Eldraine is excellent. Icker Drinker is excellent. Um, I'm not trying to draft blue-black again, though, so I am just gonna... Stay on rails and take the Moloch. Okay, so we're getting paid off here a little bit. Ooh, it's almost certainly going to be Realm Breaker's Grasp, but Herbology Instructor is also here. Wary Thespian as well. Hmm. <laughs> Herbology Instructor actually goes quite well with the, the Ozolith. Yeah, I can hope to wheel one of these three cards, right? I'll just take the Instructor. I think that's probably the best. Ooh, Aerial Boost here is going to be the pick. Chomping Kabu is quite good. I feel like Vengeant Earth should be good. It's like a weird removal spell in turn two. I don't think I've ever cast one. I don't know if I've ever... Eh, I've definitely picked them. But yeah, I don't think I've ever cast one. I don't think I've ever main decked one. Aerial Boost. <sighs> Cyber Cryptomancer plus the Ozolith is a incredible combo. You just win if you put those two cards together. No, no, no. We're not gonna. We're not gonna go that deep. Streetwise Negotiator, Arachnoid Adaptation, Joyful Sc Storm Sculptor is just not that good. And yeah, nothing else here is really relevant. Obviously, this is my pick. I guess Flywheel Racer is okay. Okay, we got back Blossoming Sands. Meeting of Minds came all the way back around. It's kind of tempting to take a Dune Shaper here, but I can pick up a couple Dune Shapers down the road probably. Yeah, you know, let's just take the first Blossoming Sands. One is definitely good. Um, so between Placid Tail and Adaptation, I think I think our Adaptation's definitely better. What am I at right now? Two non-creature spells. I can afford a few more. 
And we got absolutely nothing from this pack, so let's fill up our uh, vault. Wow, we didn't get anything back out of this one either. I almost want to take the Rona just to get vault progress, because I'm probably not playing the Iridescent Blade Master. But, what the heck. Ugh. Inspired Charge. Ooh, we got an Intervention Wheel. That's so good. <laughs> just going to put that directly into the sideboard there. Well, this is unfortunate. If I had stayed a little more open. I mean, I'm probably just going to take the Scytherix because... I'm a rare drafter. I've been trying to trying to fill out the collection from the set. I mean, what's our pick here? Invasion of Muragonda, right? And even then, I'm not super excited to be running this six mana invasion in my aggro deck. And during Bond Warden is the actual pick here. This would be my pick if I were trying to win. But I can't help but to take a Scytherix. It also it's also kind of tempting. I could actually be playing red right now and play some white red aggro, but I'm gonna take the Scytherix because yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Ooh. Alright, that's a brawler for sure, right? I'm not being silly here. I'm not a bond warden, but yeah yeah, brawler. That's kind of exciting. This pack is less exciting. This is not the kind of deck I want to play a Tangled Skyline in, even though I think it's the best card here. I already have plenty of two drops. Whatever, and I am this battlefield. I mean, I'm going to have some number of knights just by drafting white. It's not great, but three mana, three, three is kind of what I want to be doing. Crystal Carapace is very bad. I like Sword, sword, sword Sworn Cavalier. Um, what are my two drops like right now? Two of them are non-creatures. Three of them are non-creature spells. Could just take the Cavalier. Yeah, let's just take three, no, two drops. We can get a three drop later. Um, so yeah, it's a Realm Breaker's Grasp. I don't think it's particularly close there. Yeah, that's a Bolus Slinger. Converter Beast is also very good, but... I think Bolus Slinger is kind of what I want to be doing in this deck. Oh, uh, well, this is unfortunate. I could take Scroll Shift, or I can just take a... Tetsuko Umezawa to fill up the collection. Which I will, because there's no way I'm playing Scroll Shift. And another scroll shift, another ear to some uh, blade master, Quende, which I'm also not playing, but I will take. This isn't great. You don't want the second half of the pack to uh, fall apart this bad. Angelic intervention is quite good though. Cosmic hunger is also in contention here. Um, do I have actual removal? One realm breaker's grasp. Uh, I would like to get another intervention, but I'll take the first Cosmic Hunger. And that's a Bond Warden. And that is a War Historian, almost certainly. Yeah, I'm not running Surge of Salvation. Um, I'm probably not running this, but I'll take it. Yeah, I'm definitely not running Bonded Herd Beast. Yeah, no. I'm trying to be aggressive here. And second Inspired Charge is probably not making the cut. Invasion of the Xerix is not making the cut. This Random Mountain is certainly not making the cut. Oh, if we switched into red, we would be getting paid off right here. Okay, here I'm probably not taking the rare. Or I wouldn't be taking the rare if the white and green in this pack wasn't so weak. Or equipment vehicle, huh? Well, I have one aura. Zero 
equipment, zero vehicle. I mean, the pick here is Core Halberd. Yep, those, those are the words. This is Core Halberd here. Okay, we're taking the Botanical Brawler. Wary Thespian is also quite good. Broodlord is very good, but I'm not going to rare draft past things that are actually good for the deck like that. Particularly good for the deck like that. Second Cosmic Hunger, I'd almost rather have the Sky Warden. But I don't think it's particularly good in here. Now there's Blighted Burgeoning. We're trying to play aggro. Another Moloch is quite good for us. Bond Warden is also quite good. Yeah, this isn't really much going on here. Uh, Timberland Ancient, but... I think... Okay, um... Got a Dune Shaper. I think I'm probably going to end up taking that. I could see taking the Aeronaut. But I want to be pedal to the floor aggressive because that worked out for me last last draft so let's see if we can do it in green white in a third botanical brawler oh my god seems like uh green white's definitely going around kami of whispered hopes is very strong and synergizes well here therefore i will take it yep those those were all the words uh second aerial boost yeah yeah, yeah. And nothing here for us. I'll just take an uncommon. Because vault. Nothing here for us. I'll take an uncommon again. Mm, I'm not running the, that nonsense. I'll take an uncommon. Uh, <laughs> how many of these are in my collection is what I want to know right now. Uh, whatever. Uh, I've probably taken more emotes than Invasions of Ergamon. Honestly, I'll take the Timberland Ancient. I don't think I'm actually playing it, but... Ooh, I do think I'm actually playing that. And that is that. Very nice. Now, that feels like an okay. Okay, pool. And now I'll be... Well, I guess I can just make the cuts. Uh... I'm going to cut a single forest, go to 16 lands, because that's the kind of person I am, even though I know I ought to be playing 17 almost always. Uh, let's see. This is, uh, this is the strat, right? You take everything out, and then you put the best cards in. So let's go first things first. Botanical Brawlers. Sandstalker Mollux, quite good. Kami Whispered Hopes, good, good, good. Ozolith, yes, yes, yes. And the rest of this is kind of mediocre. Herbology Instructor, Cosmic Hungers, maybe an adaptation. Knight Errant, that thing. Bull of Slinger. Yeah, Billy Rider, I did kind of build around it. Um, Cavalier, Grasp. Intervention, two aerial boosts, one Dune Shaper, one Halberd, and a Bond Warden. Wow. Yep, that sure is the entire deck, isn't it? Perfect 40 cards. Uh, how many knights do we have? Three total. So the Sword Sworn isn't that good, but it's a 3 1 for 2, which is aggressive. Core Halberd. Aerial boosts, one intervention. Yep, yeah, this deck is fine. I'm going to just fire it off and head on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No fear. So, hopefully everyone up here in the low to mid mythic level is just playing the slowest control decks possible and I can run people over. I think my last deck was a bit better. It was a uh, red-white aggro. And it was it was quite quick. Let's see. Well, I kind of hate having only green, but Kami Whisper Hopes is here, a Streetwise Negotiator. And I'm going first. It's not the end of the world. The Kami of Whispered Hopes fixes my mana to cast Bolas Slinger. 
Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Luckily, I drew another forest, which was pretty much exactly what I was after. And we have a 3-3 on turn 2. It's quite nice. We'll show our third, co or our second color. Go attacking. Go into damage. Go into Kami of Whispered Hopes. And passing it along. This set is so neat. Cosmic Hunger is my creature deals damage to it. Very nice. No blocks. And now I can kill this without uh, without my creature dying. Let's go Botanical Brawler. Cosmic Hunger. Doesn't matter which. Nope. Give that a little bop and then go on the attack. Yeah, there's nothing to nothing to do with Kami. Our opponent is at 13 on turn 4, which is quite good for me. He's going to flip this into a 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to tap it down with Bola Slinger and go swinging for a lot of damage. I think I'm in pretty good shape here. He's like one turn away from being dead. There's, I don't think I'm making that trade. I want to be pedal to the floor aggressive. Naturally, I would draw another land. Um, so we're going to put the counters on the... Probably on the Kami, just to spread them out a bit. Tap that down. So he's taking 11. Yep. Okay. Your move, opponent. Show me your big bomb that you splashed for with your Awakened Skyclave. That Invasion of Zendikar is quite good. That's not going to do it. Oh my god, of course. Um, This still might not do it. He can incubate twice. He can't flip either of those. He can attack with a Vigilance creature. Yeah, I win here. Um, no, I don't. No blocks. I'll just draw an aerial boost real quick, and then he'll die. Alright. So I tap down the 3-5. Yeah, no, I do win. Tap that down, and that's game, right? I can do math. I kind of failed to do the math, but then I remembered that the Bola sling Slinger is also attacking here. And is he going to realize that my Botanic Crawler has Trample, so he's taking one damage from that? This is Trample, right? Yeah, cool. Good talk. Whew, this was quite spooky. Oh man, that was real tight. <laughs> That's like exactly what I'm looking for out of a aggro game oof if i if you know if i hadn't killed him exactly that turn out it was that was over gliss is quite strong and exaxes too no uh no room no leeway there all right cool let's go again you know that that draw wasn't crazy or anything i uh i drew more lands than i would have liked but uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what we got. No one drop still. We got Brawler into Negotiator. Whispered. I mean, probably Brawler, Kami. We'll figure it out as we go. And I'm going first again. Nice. And I'm playing against Bill Gates. No way. This is unfair. This guy is a 1-3 on turn 1. Card is broken. Might actually go with the Streetwise Negosh... Hmm. Oh, come on. Stop drawing lands. Ah, I'm just gonna cast this. No attacks. Which is quite unfortunate. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna end up being in trouble here. 
Um, so I can go one, two, one, two, three to cast the Moloch. Yeah, let's back up, put it onto itself. Because I don't need the counter on the other thing. If he blocks with everything, I... <laughs> okay. I guess that's how you win a game. I uh, intimidated my opponent to death. I... You know I take those. Alright, well, I was a little worried going into this draft, but I'm feeling feeling a little more confident after his board was fine. Like, he could kill the brawler if I attacked. I don't know what he thought was happening, but... Alright, now we're playing against Max Axe. And this is an excellent hand. Turn 1, Enduring. Turn 2, Botanical. Oh, this is quite good. And I'm going first again. This game loves me right now. One, Bond Warding. Easy wins. And my opponent's playing Tapped Lands. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what order I cast in. Though, it is good to just be in the habit of uh, attacking first, casting spells after. Ah, he's gonna kill it. Um, so right here we can... I mean, we're just gonna Herbology Instructor, but if I find the... What's it called? Uh, Angelic Intervention, I can knock the Realm Breaker's Grasp off. Alright, he's got a 3-3. Three, three. Very scary, my go. Let me go attacking. And... Oh, it should go to damage. Play Kithkin and Billy Rider. And then pass the turn. Kithkin Billy Rider currently represents 10 damage with the two aerial boosts. So my opponent's at 7, 6, 5. Oh boy. Alright, well, I can't Angelic Intervention that off. That's not great for me. I'm going to need to draw some cards that do things. That is so thoroughly not a card that does things. Well, I guess it gets me closer to flipping this. So, my opponent is essentially at 11 right now, which is not great for me. I mean, he also appears to be drawing lands, so there's that. Uh, past attackers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, hit me. See if I care. Alright, we have a flyer. Okay, well, that's not the worst. This is the worst, though. Um, so what do I do? I pay, play this. I flip this, killing the, could kill the flyer, could kill the prankster, or I could just kill the 3-3. Three, three. Just gonna kill the 3-3, three, three, I think. That just makes sense. And then I'll go attacking with just this, and I can cast an aerial boost if he blocks it. Well, he's at 12. He's not that alive. Like, if he just plays another creature or flips his prankster, I'll be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think I might almost be winning this. Like, he's got a card in hand, but I have two. And I can block with the Enduring Bond Ward and move the counter to the Invoker. 
yeah, no, I think I'm in good shape here. Go to attackers. Go to blockers. Block with that. One blocker. Aerial boost it. See what he does. Oh, wow. He just let me eat it. Okay. Well, that's actually... That's a little frightening. Like, he could win pretty fast using this, but... Um... So I attack with everything. Yeah, streetwise negotiated onto a enduring bond warden and attack with everything. Go to blockers. Go ahead and do another one of these things. Kill that. He goes to nine. I'm in pretty good shape here. I have three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven damage. And I can definitely generate two extra damage from my deck. Oh, that doesn't do it, but... Okay. My opponent's in trouble now. <laughs> My opponent is officially in trouble. I'm not sure... Cool, good talk. Easy wins. I was gonna say I'm not sure what he could have, but what he could have would be Sunfall. That would have been the real problem there. I think there's also a red card that deals a bunch of damage to creatures. I'm not positive, but... Okay. I think aggro is really satisfying to play in this format. Like, that guy was doing some aggressive things, but so often I'm just playing against the slowest of all decks. The most controlling, the grindiest. This hand is unkeepable. This hand is phenomenal. Um, keep six, so I go one Dune Shaper, two Botanical Brawler. Um, I think I'll toss the Knight Errant back. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. So, Dune Shaper. Dune Shaper, let's go. Two Brawler. I should have uh, attacked first, but it is what it is. Oh, we can't afford the Moloch. We don't have the second green. I am quite bad at this game. Nope. Let me just go Brawler. And now if he wants to bounce my other Brawler back to my hand, that would be... Well, it wouldn't do much for him. Oh, wow, they saw each other. That's wild. Are you going to put the brawler back in my hand? Oh, he's hurting. Oh, no. That was unfortunate. I, I thought it was going to be, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Afara's dismissal. Yeah, that was not great for me. But I still have a 3-3 with, like, trample, so that's pretty okay. We're just going to kill that pre-combat. And then we're going to go for four. I'm not in great shape here. If I can golden scale this into the air to get through, this will be a 4-4. Four, four. And that's like two land draws away. If I never get to cast the air or not, I think I'll be in good shape. Uh, so I guess... We just transform this and go in. Is he gonna kill it? Nope. Oh. I feel like he has another uh another Elspeth smite. No, you it wouldn't have held up like that there. One mana plus this. So that means it's um aerial boost. So we're gonna attack with that. He's going to block and cast Aerial Boost, and we're going to trade. Cool. Okay. I'm good at this game, I promise. Now, what does he have? Come on. Enough is enough. 
Come at my brawler, B. Don't touch. Okay, it's Eric Strub Knight. We're just going to go ahead and play our big flyer now. Oh, does he? Okay. I thought he had a far as dismissal. I guess he still could if he was wanting to use the Strobe Knight, but... Oh, wow. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, he cast two creatures, or two spells. Um, do I have lethal yet? Very nearly. Wait, yes, I do have lethal. No, I don't. I would have to give this protection from blue. I'm still going to ruin this guy's world with this play. Do you want to add a raft to that just in case I have a trick? Come on, you know I do. Or you know you do. Protection from blue. Good game. Like, it's not actually over, but it's pretty, pretty thoroughly over. And turn, and if he casts a blue spell right now, I get to Sandstalker. My opponent is in not great shape. And, like, this was a pretty low-to-the-ground deck. Like, he's not doing uh, control things at all, but... Invasion of Xerix, huh? Resolve. Pass to attackers. Please attack me with wrath. It'd be so funny. Um, that's just three damage. But I can block wrath and kill it. <laughs> this is bullying. Um, let's get a three wise negotiator. Wait, he doesn't have anything to do with this, right? Yeah, no. Oh, I'm very bad at this game. Why did I think he was at less health? Well, that was not smart of me. I really thought he was within lethal range. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just going to put it on here, spread it out. I mean, I'm still probably win unless he goes land sunfall. Protocol knight with no other knight in play. This is fine. Okay, I almost threw the game. Oh, always think about what you're doing. Don't just don't just assume they're dead. Nice. All right, I wouldn't mind another uh, another seven win deck. Do I believe? We're up to four wins. All right, all right. And this is this is definitely my favorite kind of deck to play. Just a nice low to the ground aggro deck. I do like white green even though I know it's not the best deck in the format some might even go so far as to say it's not a good deck in the format but well results speak for themselves right ooh this guy's in diamond I bet his deck is great not that that's necessarily like an indicator that much I don't know if this hand is keepable like, I definitely played against plenty of... <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> plenty of people in Mythic while I was in Platinum and Diamond. And I've gone first, like, every game. This is a little bit unfair. No Icker Drinker. Cool, cool. Playing our spells before combat. Cool, cool. Love to see it. Now, if I can just not draw any more lands for a while. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So you're saying there's a chance. Let me go attacking first. Come on, I have two mana open. You know, that you, you know how this goes. I'm not offering to trade off something. Yeah, 
Come on. <laughs> My man. Like at this point in the format, you have to know that I'm just holding on to an aerial boost. Imagine accidentally cycling the Ozolith. So my opponent's at 16. I can start piling Ozolith counters onto things. Oh my. That's a Luris. Land. Activate only as a sorcery. That's what I wanted to know. So I'm going to put two counters here and get one counter here. And then we're going to go attacking. And my opponent is in a little bit of danger. Even though he has lifelink. Boop. Give him the good old boop. The Ozolith is not a weak card. And if this thing ever flips, it'll be a, uh... What's that on printed? It'll be a 6-5 with Trample. Okay, he killed my biggin. I think that's right, because... Oof. Oh, I don't have enough mana. I also don't have enough mana for that. Just flip it. Get in there. It's not great to be dealing with a lifelinker like this, but this is the reality we live in. And I can only imagine my opponent has more removal. I'm oh ooh. I love these. I imagine that I'm losing this game. This is so satisfying. Enough of that. Concentrate. Oh, a second Deadly Derision. And a second Timurit? No, he played the first Timurit from the graveyard with Lurus. Right. Sometimes I forget that that card is absurd. Alright, Herbology Instructor. I'm on the back foot. I'm not dead, though. I want to see the pretty angels flare their wings more, though. Ah. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. I guess he's putting back a deadly derision. Yep. I guess I am relatively quickly... Oh, he probably can't attack into this. If I put full control mode on and make him think about it. Wow, I sure do lose this game. That's okay, though. Okay, no more full control mode is necessary. Uh, well, we got this. It's something. Put two counters on that. Just so I can kill something bigger. He has deadly duration for that. Nah, no, I'm pretty dead. I can make him kill me or I can just concede. Good game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was quite good. Luris is very strong. Undeniably strong. I think there are only a couple, uh, couple hours left in the season. Let me see. Uh, two hours and 40 minutes left. So, I want to try to get to 250, top 250 uh, mythic. I don't actually know what that does, but I'm under the impression it does something. Like maybe you get a token to a free, free join of tournament token thing, which I think I would like. I, uh, yeah, I love drafting. I, uh, I've been drafting this set a bunch. I drafted a bunch of, uh, Dominari United while I was on Quick Draft. I am not in the habit of doing the 1500 gem drafts just because you do lose all of your gems quite quickly with a, a loss or two. Oh my god. Let's go Bond Warden, Ozolith, Negotiator, Malak. 
And my opponent's going first, so that's not great for me. But I am getting on board first. Okay, Norn's Inquisitor, Inquisitor is quite excellent. Get in there. Right, you can cycle Oslo with that instant speed. I was like, what's going on? And this guy's playing white black, so I can wait till he casts a black spell to cast the Moloch at some point. Not bad. Hmm. This will be a 3 3. God, Norn, Norn's Inquisitor is so good. I wish I had gotten a couple of these. My last draft, I ended up with three of them. And I was just drafted in a red white. And I got everything I needed. All right. He thinks he's the aggressor here. Show him how wrong he is. Swing he has a 4-4 four, four on turn 3. Not bad. Could just let the flitting gorilla die. Do, do some getting. Get some stuff. I can actually block with this. If he activates this, swings in for 3 with it. I can block with the Negotiator and Aerial Boost it. I can't block the Flyer with the Aerial Boost, because I'll have to tap the Negotiator to cast it, but... Uh-oh, why is he looking at my stuff? Don't look at my stuff. Just play your cards. I usually uh, draft a couple times and then gather gold for a couple days to afford another draft. Oh my. That's not great for me. So let's go planes. I could activate the Ozolith onto Enduring Bond Warden and just smash. With the aerial boost as backup. I could put him on Streetwise Negotiator, go in with Enduring Bond Warden. Hmm. <laughs> Let's think. If we go in with Bond Warden, they can block with... They'd have to block with a sensor at least, so... If they want to kill it. Let's go in with Bond Warden, and yeah, just Bond Warden. We can let him decide how he wants to deal with this nonsense. Phyrexian Sensor is quite good. Ozolith is only as an instant, so I can't do that now. He's got to be thinking what's going on. And what I'm thinking is I can cast Aerial Boost by tapping the Streetwise Negotiator if he blocks with enough stuff. Alright, so we want to kill the Phyrexian Sensor for sure. Let's go ahead and tap like this. Which pretty much gives the joke away that I'm holding up mana for something else, but that's okay. Killing the sensor is incredibly good for me. I could still just Ozolith, but I think I'm going to end turn and cast the Moloch. Hopefully he'll cast a black spell for me. I can draw a card with some selection. This card is so good. Top four cards. My god. I think I'm relatively well set up to win this game. 
just based on the Ozlith plus Bond Warden. Resolve. You did it. You cast a black spell for me. Resolve. Resolve. Attackers. Are you really going to swing into this board right now? You know you want to hold back your blockers. <laughs> My turn. Moloch. Yeah, that's going to be a bowl of slinger for me. So, we're going to put this counter on the negotiator. Tap down the 3-3 three, three, and let him trade with everything else. Sounds pretty good with him for me. Sounds pretty good to me. Oh, it got two. I forgot. I have the Ozolith in play. Yeah, if he wants to trade away his Timurat, we'll let him. <laughs> I think this is good for me. He's at eight. So if he wipes the board, right? Ooh, Boonbringer Valkyrie. That's a good card. All right, so he's going to gain four, go to 12. I can tap down the Valkyrie. Okay, well, it's not over. Herbology Instructor, add two counters to it the turn I flin. No, I, I need to add two counters to it now. Can I kill him? Add some counters to this. Everything's attacking. Oh, no, this doesn't have four power yet. Add counters to this. Herbology Instructor, Swordsworn Cavalier. Or I can just go attacking, play Herbology Instructor, and add some counters to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. And he'll block. Tap this down. He's going to be gaining some life now. But we might be able to we might be able to win through this boon bringer. If he's got removal, I'm in trouble. He needs to kill the bolus slinger. He can block okay. Now I'm gonna go Herbology Instructor. Add some counters to it. And now when this flips I can kill Boonbringer. And then I can tap him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't actually flip it yet, though. I need one more mana. This also just adds to my clock. He almost has to... Oh, that's... Frightening. Um, I can't stop him from gaining life by blocking. And I don't really care about my life total. I don't think he's killing me here. And if he's not killing me here, then I am winning. Or rather, if he doesn't have something impressive from hand, I'm winning. That is not impressive enough. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is enough damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is there any reason for me to add more to this board right now? No, I am going to do it anyway because I am worried that there's a trick afoot. So I'll make this big enough to... Oh, I could have flipped this. I'm so dumb. Okay, no, he didn't have it. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, that was scary. I really should have just played a land, flipped this, killed the Boonbringer, and then gone for the attack. Those kinds of little misplays are the ones that'll get you. And, like, it doesn't seem like a misplay because I won that game. But it definitely would have seemed like a misplay if I had lost that game. <laughs> Whew. Easy games, easy games. Yeah. This is a green-white deck going all the way. Trying to go all the way, at least. 
And obviously Ozolith is a great card, but it was not involved in all of my wins. Unfading Hope. Another diamond player. Okay, well, we'll have four power in play on turn two. And we'll remove his first blocker and hope to draw more stuff. And hope to draw no more lands, basically all game. Maybe one more as the game draws long, but... There's a roughly a 1 in 3 chance of me drawing another land right now. Yeah, let's start down here. Chance to draw land. Oh my god, of course. Okay. Let's go forest. Go attacking. Go cavalier. And go passing. If he plays the white, red, gold card probably have to <sighs> okay this is fine this is variance um he won't block yeah easy wins <laughs> he's gonna attack me now like a fool I mean, trading off his sword sworn for my sword sworn wouldn't have been the end of the world for me. You're joking right now. Now yeah, I'll remove it, because this time I think he is going to block. And I would like to see his trick. Okay, he's got an intervention. Protection from white until end of turn, so that's a no attacks from me, dog. If he plays a knight, it'll have first strike, so I'll need to keep that in mind. I mean, obviously, drawing this many lands is a uh, touch unlucky. And that's life. Sometimes it happens. Well, I guess that's one way to give it first strike as well. <laughs> I do think I'm just going to block here, though. Put the counter on this. See, my... All right. I can't attack into that 2-3. <laughs> Did I even play a land? No, I didn't. That was silly, but I want my opponent to think my hand is full of goodies. No, not really, but it's a living. This is one of those uh, comical runs of bad variants with the, the drawing like this. You have to, you have to sit back and enjoy it. At least it started early. If I was like, you know, turn four or five into the game and I was kind of on the front foot, but it wasn't over, and then I started drawing like this, I would be, uh, I'd be salty. I'm the aggressive deck here. I don't block. Blocking is for blockers. I could just top deck a Neurobiology Instructor and be in okay shape. Oh, I really can't attack. Not after drawing this. Maybe my opponent's looking at a handful of lands as well. That's always possible. Passing to first strike damage. Yeah, let's go. Let's see it, buddy. What you got? Now he's going to give his protection from white as well. Aerial boost won't do it. He'd have to spend a couple cards. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's going to get to look at the top two. Exile one and play this turn. Ah, very nice. Um, I'm not literally dead. This thing's only a 2-3. Yeah, and it remains only a 2-3.
Yep. That is a 3-3. Three, three. In, in essence. Well, that is not good for me. I will just trade this off, though, make him re-equip. Alright, he gives us another counter to Bond Warden. He moves the two counters on to Heal Slasher, probably. I don't believe I have a way to win this right now. Four, five, six. You know, the only way I win this is by not blocking and top decking. What do we need? You know, that is pretty close to what we need. Alright, so I can survive an extra turn like this. And now if he lets me trade off, I'll trade off. No attacks. So next turn... Oh boy. This is a very defensive board for my deck to assemble. I guess he can just go... If I block the red cap... This... Let's see, it's probably got a trick to kill my negotiator, but at least I've dealt with the problems. Like he's thinking I have some trick myself, but I'm over here on two more lands in hand. Oh, that's awful for me. I guess that one kills, this one also kills, yeah, yeah, good game. Let's see what we get off the top. Oof. Brutal. <laughs> Let me just cycle the Ozoliths of Flex. Oh my god. <laughs> Three, nine, yeah, nine lands. That was subpar. But that's okay. This draft's gone pretty well for me. I can't really complain. Let's see if we can get one more. Let's see if we can win exactly this game. And then we'll see if we can win the next one. If there is a next one. Codex of the multiverse, no way. All right, let's see what we got. Well, this hand isn't great, but I'll keep it. Against certain styles of decks, this is an excellent hand. Ooh, that definitely makes it a little better. I'm just hoping they don't have removal right away. I can offer him the trade. Or I can just play the Ozolith and pass. Now if he kills this, I'm in big trouble. But if he doesn't kill it, I might be able to blink his first removal spell with Angelic Intervention, which would put me in a good spot, I think. Resolve. Go to attackers. He's swinging for one. Not going to block. Yeah, I don't have Angelic Intervention mana. That is not the one. Okay. So we go Ozolith for two green, and then we don't have mana for Angelic Intervention. Um, hmm. Guess I can just, like... Ugh, I really don't want to trade in my Arachnoid Adaptation for a 1-1 one, one Nicker Drinker. Wait, if I pay to Convoke... No, I can untap the... Uh... Wait, actually, yeah. 1, Convoke it. No, that doesn't work. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If I had another creature, this wouldn't be at all difficult to decide what to do. 
Or if I, yeah, if I had another creature. I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. Like, at some point I'm just losing if I don't do anything. Deal one damage, please. I don't even know what it could be. 3-3. Three, three. Convoke. No, it's not enough. Oh, this is so brutal. <laughs> at least he spent it on an activation of the Ozlith instead of one of my tricks. But that is unfortunate. And now he's going to start drawing extra cards off that. I am in a lot of trouble already. I guess I am just going to Realm Breaker's Grasp it. My turn. Okay, we got an Herbology Instructor, which is really good news, but I am going to take the moment to go ahead and do that, and then I will pass. Next turn I will play Herbology Instructor, and we can get back to work. <laughs> like, I'm an aggro deck. Starting to play the game on turn 5 is not great. That is not great also. It's not the end of the world, though. It's just Phyrexian getting plus two. I guess this thing is a little scarier now. But, like, if I'm worried about my life total, I've got all sorts of problems. All right, gain three life. Pass. Can Angelic Intervention block something? It'll be a three, five. Resolve. Um, I'll just go to the block here. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can just take three. Go to my turn. Got ourselves a brawler. Now we're talking. Counterspell. Pass turn. Ugh. Like, obviously I am... Uh, what's it called? Telegraphing the Indelic Intervention super hard here. But now I can block his 2-2 with my 3-3. Three, three. Like, this probably isn't the right way to play this, but I feel like I just need to squeak every last bit of value out of these cards right now. Nice. Unfortunate for him. Now I can sack that. Nice. Okay. Please hit my creature and not the Ozolith, dude. Artifact or creature? Holy heck. Hit a creature. No, don't point at the Ozolith. I swear to God. I haven't even activated the Ozolith. There's no way it's... <laughs> no. Okay, well... Let me go ahead and get my counter out of the Ozolith while it's still here. This is probably also the wrong play. I'm just desperate. Desperate for some value. That is so absurdly brutal. Now he's going to kill this too. No way. Oh. This is ruination. Resolve. Good job. You got me. Oh, that is so brutal. I could, I, I didn't use to play it like that. I just chose to die here. I'm not dead. Let me just play this out. Put a counter here, put a counter there. Okay, at least my blocks are good now. Pass turn. But man. God, Pylon is so good. That card is actually broken. Not that it was broken in this case, but like... Killing a creature for zero mana and sur <laughs> Nice. Resolve. Pass to attackers. Oh, I can't even aerial boost. I can't. God. All right. You, you did it. 
Okay, okay, we're gonna have to play this real clean from here on in. We are in big trouble if we don't. Who, buddy. Holy Frazzle Cannon is online. There's a Boonbringer Valkyrie in play. Put it on the Phyrexian, I guess, to hit those two. My turn. Nice. Pass turn. Let's see what you got. Maybe I should have attacked the Botanical Brawler there. Then, nah, it's better just to keep my, keep my combat tricks right now. Incredible. God, I'm in so much trouble. Okay, you got it. I'm going to kill whatever you attack with. to blocks. Um, now let's play the more mana efficient one. Okay, Boonbringer Valkyrie's dead. That's nice. At least there's that. God. Come on. Work with me here. Work with me. Pass it over. We, we hope and we pray. We block the 5-5, five five, which will be a 6-6. Six six. Oh, God, there's a Halo Forger involved. Nah, there's just no way I, I win against this. I mean, there's a way I win against this, but that time passed uh, six turns ago. Six turns ago? Maybe five turns ago. Get, in, get into the turns 5-6-7, and not being in a winning position against this deck was uh, not very great. And obviously Pylon and Boonbringer were... Quite strong. Yeah, this guy's deck is sick. Esper colors are quite good here. Halo Forger, Holy Frazzle Cannon. Absolutely brutal. He's been drinking my life all game with this Acre Drinker. Yeah, yeah. X equals two, huh? Where are you? Okay. Oh, giving it protection from color. Okay, um. I'm not positive that that's the right play, but four, five, six, seven, four, killing that. Okay, I see you. All right, let me go ahead and give, which one do I want to live? I'd probably rather have the flyer live, right? No, oh, he still gets to just choose which one dies. Never mind. Okay, now he gets a Xerix Knight thing. I am in a little bit of trouble. A non-zero amount of trouble, I would say. If I get exactly the removal spell off the top, the uh, Realm Breaker's Grass, maybe. Oh, do I not have another one? I don't have another one. Um, in that case, I would need Cosmic Hunger. But that actually doesn't even do it. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way to win here, and that is certainly not the way to win here. Good game. Concede. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. I really liked the deck. We got a little bit unlucky there, but that's life. I may have also made some misplays in that last game, but that was going to be a little bit of an uphill battle either way, I believe. So, I might as well claim these. Ooh, a whole pack of cards and 650 gems. So that cost me 100 gems, which is not bad. Going down 100 is definitely not the end of the world. Ooh, nice. Two rares. Very nice. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This has been The Art of Dying, and I'll see y'all next time.